A new lawsuit from the U.S. Virgin Islands Attorney General Denise George accuses J.P. Morgan Chase of facilitating Jeffrey Epstein's sex trafficking operation and covering it up, according to the lawsuit. The bank and its employees knew they were facilitating Epstein's sexual abuse and sex trafficking conspiracy to coerce young women and underage girls to engage in commercial sex acts, according to the accusations. According to Insider, the bank concealed its conduct by failing to follow red flag laws. In the section of the lawsuit that details how J.P. Morgan allegedly turned a blind eye to Epstein's conduct is heavily redacted. A representative from J.P. Morgan declined to comment to Insider on this matter. Insider writes, The Virgin Islands prosecutor Denise George lost her job days after suing J.P. Morgan in connection with the Jeffrey Epstein investigation, according to Law & Crime. George's office did not immediately respond to Law & Crime's request for comment sent yesterday. So this is a kind of a crazy story. The prosecutor in the U.S. Virgin Islands, where uh, Jeffrey Epstein's sex Island was located, filed suit making these um, allegations under, uh, I think, RICO law, and almost immediately is fired. As I've read, there has been no alternative explanation for why she was fired, and the timing is sort of incredible. Yeah, she's filing a lawsuit alleging a cover-up, and then she herself gets fired. You, so you would say, I mean, the reaction many people would have is that well, the cover-up is continuing. She is right. being punished for trying to reveal what is going on with J.P. Morgan Chase. Now, we don't really know much, many of the details here. Um, right, the other the other side, you could argue, is maybe the governor of the Virgin Islands thought this lawsuit is totally, has no merit, and she's just trying to make a name for herself or something, and it would be embarrassing, and so then he fires her for doing that, although he didn't say he was firing her for that reason. Right. He just said, like, thank you for your service. Right, you You're could done. offer an alternative explanation that would yeah. help to assuage people's feelings that there's something conspiratorial so, going on So here. what do you think is the, again, because it's it's not clear yet, what do you think is the J.P. Morgan connection, that he's making payments to various people, or maybe he's paying off underage people or so, something, and, so then, lot, and that is something that J.P. Morgan should have taken notice of? So a lot of the court documents are redacted, which prevents us from knowing all of, of what there is to know. However, what we do know is that in the lawsuit that was filed, uh, the plaintiffs accused the banks of, quote, providing the requisite financial support for the continued operation of Epstein's international sex trafficking organization in violation of the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, that's the RICO Act, um, a U.S. law used to target illegal conspiracies that was originally designed to target organized crimes. Now, RICO law has been used in ways that are gross overreaches uh, to get people who I would argue should not be overpoliced and criminalized. Uh, but it also has been the thing that has able, enabled law enforcement to get some genuine criminals that mm-hmm. otherwise are careful enough to av- avoid it's also something kinds of charges. People who don't know anything about the law always say, oh, is that RICO? <laughs> Usually it's not. <laughs> Usually that is not RICO. Well, the, the lawsuit goes on to, to say that Epstein's sex trafficking venture was not possible without the assistance and complicity of a financial institution, specifically a banking institution, which provided his operation with an appearance of legitimacy and special treatment to the sex trafficking venture thereby ensuring its continued operation, et cetera, et cetera. So look, I think the implications here for the Virgin Islands are potentially significant. It is a place that is known to be a tax haven and a place that provides a lot of economic opportunities for folks who are trying to avoid certain regulatory restrictions in the United States and other parts of the world and gets a lot of revenue from being a haven of sorts. So it could be that there's a lot of political pressure on uh, this prosecutor, uh, George here, mm. not to open the door to oh, the Oh, I get of, it. Not to, okay, not to spook right. potential people who are going to ha- put their assets or their right. banking For in whatever the reason, islands. including yes. potentially sex trafficking reasons. So, I mean, this is a big question. I mean, we saw this a little bit with the, the Kanye fiasco, the choice of J.P. Morgan to shut down his accounts, kind of self-politicizing, mm-hmm. inserting themselves, and being something other than a kind of neutral provider and carrier in that sort of a situation. And it is interesting to see whether or not, you know, are, are they going to, you know, continue to say, oh, I'm just neutral. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. It's not my business to get involved in people's affairs. Or is this a case where they had bigger responsibility not to continue to bank for someone? I mean, it, it, and it, it's got a, it's an odd comparison. Jeffrey Epstein had already been convicted of all kinds of sexual crimes previously in his life before his last imprisonment that resulted in his death. And banks were happy to continue banking with this known 
convicted sexual Although predator. I, we should read this statement from J.P. Morgan. They say, the, this is a statement from J.P. Morgan. They say the company ended its relationship with Epstein long before his ongoing misconduct became known. Since then, J.P. Morgan Chase has cooperated with investigations into Epstein and others. Do they mean the second Accusation and trial, or the first one know. from whatever it was, the late 90s. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's an interesting case. It will be interesting to see if there's actually any more substantive But there's a lot. I mean, there's so many institutions with ties. Harvard, right? Yeah, absolutely. Harvard, I know, had to investigate itself. A absolutely. I mean, Jeff Over Epstein the was a high school made. teacher at, what was it, Dalton? A, a you, very tony uh, uh, private school in New York City. I mean, people ha who have had reason to know about his proclivities have put him in positions of power and proximity to young women for decades. And it is shocking, frankly, how few heads have rolled over that outside of, you know, Jeffrey Epstein's own proverbial head. So look, we'll continue to follow this. And we'll have more rising right after this.